Living in North Korea is hard enough as it is, but women face some pretty daunting and specific challenges. You'll definitely appreciate your own life a bit more when you learn more about some of the disturbing secrets kept by women in North Korea. To learn more about people from all over the world, be sure to subscribe to The Hub and join our notification squad. Lack of supplies. Let's start with the obvious one. Since people in North Korea barely have access to food, buying tampons is simply not an option. Add to that, in North Korea having your period is shameful, it needs to be hidden, and you have a complicated and depressing situation. Instead of disposable sanitary napkins, they make their own out of fabric scraps that are less than absorbent. They also have to hand wash them in the dark of night because it's so utterly shameful to be spotted laundering them. The Honey Pot if you're a fan of spy flicks, you likely know that a honeypot scheme is when an attractive agent is sent to seduce someone to gain information or resources. Well, defectors have confessed to a seed-bearing program started under the rule of Kim Jong-il. The program sent North Korean women to seduce wealthy foreign businessmen so that they could become pregnant and then blackmail their reluctant fathers into helping North Korea. Forced Marriage in North Korea, marriage is not about two people joining together, but about the good of North Korea as a whole. Some women are forced into arranged marriages and basically used as rewards for men who serve their country well. Before her escape, Lee Jium suk was given to a former nuclear scientist whose brain had been addled because of radiation exposure. Many such marriages are extremely abusive, but thankfully, Jium suk was able to escape hers. Military Service Serving in the military is compulsory for both male and female citizens of North Korea. Females spend seven years of their lives in the military, and they aren't exactly learning useful skills. The training of women in the military is nothing more than a farce, and because they are so low on the totem pole, they barely receive enough rations to survive. In fact, many women report that their menstrual cycles actually stop because of malnutrition. Pregnancy You've probably guessed that unless you're wealthy enough to live in the North Korean capital, Pyongyang, maternity care there isn't that great. Not only do you have to rely on cloth diapers once the baby is born, but women don't have access to regular medical checkups to make sure the pregnancy is healthy. To add insult to injury, pregnant women aren't treated with kindness, and they're expected to stand on buses, imprisoned. If you thought being pregnant in North Korea sounded bad, imagine being both pregnant and in prison. Prison in North Korea is exactly as luxurious as you're probably imagining, and pregnant inmates are treated unthinkably. If they're early in their pregnancies, they undergo forcible termination. If they're too far along, their child is taken away from them after birth and never seen again. Plastic Surgery Plastic surgery in North Korea is one of those strange things that nobody talks about, but most people do. It's technically illegal, but it's also expected of women. The most popular procedures are eyelid enhancements and permanent makeup, but they're usually performed by inexperienced people without the proper tools or sterilization. Due to this, there is no small amount of women who have ended up maimed or with serious infections after undergoing cosmetic procedures. Working. In North Korea, you work wherever the government tells you to work. Unsurprisingly, when it comes to highly paid positions, far more men are hired than women. But despite this, about 70% of women in North Korea bring home the lion's share of household income. How is that? Because while many men are forced to work low-paying jobs, women are free to have side hustles like selling goods, cutting hair, or providing other services under the table. Birth Control Birth control is not part of the curriculum in North Korean schools, and implantable birth control devices are flat out banned. Yet about 70% of women use birth control in North Korea, while the global average is only 64%. The reason for this is the black market birth control methods. Although they're expensive, women feel that they're worth the cost, and considering their options if they do get pregnant, we can't say we blame them. When we think of North Korea, we tend to think of Kim Jong-un and his missiles, but there are a lot of innocent human beings living there that are just trying to get by. For anyone outside the wealthy elite, life in North Korea is extremely difficult, and it's hard for us outsiders to comprehend. To learn more about North Korea, be sure to subscribe to The Hub for more videos. Bye for now!